Hello, Marco. Hello, teacher. How are you? I, I'm good. How's everything? Me. It's good today. I it's a good a, day today? Yes. I have very, very, very work and it's, it's busy. It's busy, pardon. Excuse me. All right. It's busy, you mean? Yes. All right. Very good. Well done. All right, guys. So, um, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you, Mauricio, for coming. Luis Molina, nice to see you. Italo, Victor Cubillas, how are you? How's everything, guys? Hello. Hello, Victor. All right. Hey, that situation, dude, about the coronavirus. Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. it's very difficult. Uh, my family in last month, Julie, on August, my wife is sick. Oh. Your wife has been sick. I, I, I yeah, I got. Um, I got, I got COVID-19 too, um, a couple of months ago, back in, back in April, I think. No, it was back in May. <clears throat> so I got sick. Um, my best friend, one of my best friends, you know, got sick too. Um, however, mine was not that, that bad, you know, I, I was in bed like for two weeks. Uh, I lost the sense of smell, so I couldn't smell anything at all. It was funny, but I couldn't smell anything at all. But um, I had a very strong cough. And aside from that, I was I was sleeping a lot. Uh, I was sleeping about 13 hours or so um, because I felt like really weak, you know? So that's, that I, re I really felt weak, but I didn't have any um, respiratory pr problems. Um, my best friend though, he, he did get you know, some, uh, some respiratory problems. Um, so he was unable to breathe well for a while. Uh, so he was really worried about that, but you know, it didn't last for that long. Uh, I mean, um, what he felt didn't last for that long. And, you know, eventually he, um, he came out, he came out, um, um, you know, uh, healthy. So, so yeah, um, I have never seen a very bad situation like personally, but I know you know that that it it's I don't know like it's such a weird it's such a weird illness because it, it affects you in a, in different ways. So some people are affected in you know different ways than than other people. Um, hopefully, you know um, this person gets better. All right, aside from that, guys, um, let's continue, guys. We do have to move on. Uh, welcome, Jacqueline. Nice to see you. Jocelyn, nice to see you. Nice Jocelyn, see I, you. I, like, I like that bar, Jocelyn. <laughs> All right, the lighting, <laughs> right? The, the, the lighting. Thank you. All right, Rocio, <laughs> Luis Molini, Italo, Elizabeth, right? Welcome back. All right, guys, so we're, uh, guys, did we all finish? Did we finally finish, guys, section number one? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, if not get if not, guys, remember, you have to wait for El Chile, all right? Very good. Okay, guys, so uh, let's continue then. All right, guys. So, what's the difference between past continuous versus simple past? Who can who can tell me? Mm -hmm. So who can give an example? Was what? What is what is um? Huh? In a, no in a good movie. Uh huh. Past continuous versus a simple past. Uh huh. Past continuous is when action is finishing or something like that. Okay. All right. 
Actually, it's the other way around. Uh, simple past, you know, the action finished. Yeah, and... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused. All right. And uh, in past continuous, guys, you know, it's a continuous action in the past, right? Did it finish? I was I was doing my homework. Did, yes, of course it finished. Both, both of them finished, guys, but one of them was a continuous action in the past. The other one was not a continuous action in the past, okay? That is pretty much the gist of it, all right? So, um... So when do we use when do we use guys while and when do we use when? Uh huh. We we use while when we talking about two actions that we that were happen at the same time. Very good. Okay, two actions at the same time. Good job, huh? Long action. Okay. And then when do we mm. use when? We use when Is when. <laughs> We're talking about an action. It was interrupted. Very good. Okay, very good. Plus, for Jacqueline, guys. Woo! All right. Teacher Jacqueline, teach us today. Okay, so Jacqueline is gonna deliver the class for today, guys. Right. Very good, guys. Guys, did we did we all did we all write down uh, the structure in our notebooks? Yes. The structure the structure for past continuous. Okay, very good. How do I make a question in past continuous? Justin, can you give me an example? In past continuous, uh -huh. um, I was working all day <coughs> yesterday. All right, very good. That's a sentence. Okay, how would you ask a question? Um, a question. Uh huh. Um. So the structure, where, the structure is here, right? Remember that the yeah. auxiliary goes at the beginning. Yeah. Huh? Yes. No. Um. Were you? Um. Working yesterday. <laughs> All right, were you working yesterday? Okay. Very good. All right. And how would you answer that, Victor? Yes, I was. Very good. Oh, yes, I was. I were. Yes, I was. I, okay. All right. The, um, the verb, um, the, the, the simple past verb of the verb to be with the pronoun mm -hmm. I is am, um, okay. I mean, was, okay. Very good, guys. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So past continuous with simple past, guys, we use it, we, we often use the past continuous and simple past tenses together, all right? Now, why do we use it together, guys? Because of the reasons we discussed before. If you're using, if you're using it for talking about two actions at the same time or when an action got interrupted. Do you have any questions, guys? Or can we move on to the next topic? All right, let's get some practice then, okay? Um, have you done exercise 2.2 yet? No. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, right. Very good, guys. So let's finish exercise 2.2. Uh, who has not who has not finished exercise 2.2 yet, guys? Me? Because I don't have a time. Me. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, let's go, let's do something, guys. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and finish exercise 2.2 right now. If you okay. have finished, guys, the exercise 2.2, please talk to your partner about uh, the things that you did on your last vacation, okay? So, if you have not finished this exercise, go ahead and finish it. If you have finished the exercise, you're going to answer the question, what did you do on your last vacation, All right? Now, example, guys, um, during my last vacation, uh, I went with my family to Altunco Beach. We had a very good time there. We spent uh, we spent three nights we spent three days there, um, streaming in pool you know, uh, eating uh, eating uh, a lot of seafood which was actually bad for me because I got I got a stomach ache. Um, I remember that one one of the one night I was playing video games there because I for some reason you know I brought I brought my console there and I wanted to play video games while I was at the beach, which, which is, you know, while I was at the beach, which is actually very weird. But I was playing video games when my, when my girlfriend knocked on the door and she said, you know, what are you doing, All right? So whatever you want to say, guys, okay? But talk about the past, got it? All right, so let's go, guys. Let's go right now. <clears throat> All 
Hello, hello Rocio. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, Esther. Sorry. Hi, Rocio. Hi, teacher. Okay, uh, I'm yes. too. I did okay. it. Okay. Okay. If you want, we can check the answers and then we answers. go to answers. Answers. Sorry. Answers. Uh, after um, we go to talk about vacation. Okay. Okay. Oh, beautiful Spanish. No Spanish, Tatiana. <laughs> All right, so did you finish the exercises, guys, or, or are you going to practice about... Um, I finished the exercise. You finished the exercise? Okay, very good. All right, what about you, Tatiana? Um, not yet. All right, so let's work on the platform then, and uh, Marco might help you with that, okay? okay. All right, very good. I'm going to get Mauricio with somebody else here. Two point two. Yes. You finish the um, one point nine. Complete the sentence. I use the verb in breakfast using the correct tense. Okay, and the number one, uh, can you I see? Have, uh, my brother can you? was snowboarding. Yes? He's, um, he's here, the other participant. Oh, hello, Italo. People are waiting for you. was having their first child when they were Leave living it. in a tight apartment. Teacher, what is the pronunciation? With what? Tire or tire? Tire apartment. Tyree. Tyree. It should say a tiny, not a tyree. Uh, okay. Yeah, tiny apartment. Tiny apartment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, Tyrese. Yeah, no, that's incorrect. All right, uh, very good, very good. Okay, and the number four. While I, I, I was, was driving, while, was driving in Ireland. Ireland. A few, years ago, a few years ago, I, I realized was, was realizing, no, but two times I was. Mm. Let me see, I was on the... Is a right, a I right, take, take a look, all right, take a look at number three, right? Okay. Uh, have you ever heard about stated verbs? Mm. The couple no. was having their first... Stated time verbs are verbs that are not represented by physical movement, right? So basically, in other words, uh, you cannot represent them with actions. How do you represent hand, have? Um, How can you represent have? You can't, guys. Okay? I'm, hey, I'm having right now, right? No, I'm running. I'm not having <laughs> right now. How do you represent... Okay. So stated verbs, guys, are not... Uh, I mean, people would misuse them in ING forms. Okay. Um, but they cannot, they cannot be used in ING forms, okay? Most of the time. Okay. All right, so okay. uh, also the other thing is that when you're, when you're doing the exercises, think about the logic behind it. Does okay. it make sense? Does it make sense when you say? Uh, it's like an like a exercise yesterday. I'm not sure, uh, I guess. But, uh, but what I want to say, guys, is um, make, make, make sure that you understand what you are that what, what you are answering okay like okay. the idea behind it okay so if it doesn't you know it doesn't sound good to say the couple was having their first child okay la pareja estaba teniendo su primer mm -hmm. hijo 
right? That doesn't sound good, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say, like, let's analyze that. The couple had their first child when they, when they lived in a tiny, tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, what makes sense to you? What makes <laughs> The, the most sense. I have no idea, guys. You tell me. All right. Okay. I'll leave you working on that, but good job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, yeah. Teacher. Yeah. yeah. To rain. <laughs> okay. Did you do, did you go, um, did you go on, on, on fall or, or, the winter. I don't remember. It was summer. I went there on November. Uh, so oh, it was yeah. winter. Yeah. yeah. Right, hey, remember, I'm uh, sorry for interrupting, guys. It is in November, right? Oh, uh, in November. In November, okay. yes. Oh, very good. Thank you. I was on the road side. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Lucia. Hello, teacher. Hi, nice teacher. Yeah. Lucia, where did you come from? I didn't see you. <laughs> you, just appeared at, you just appeared out of nowhere. I, I hadn't seen you. I had not seen you. I no, 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 you, you, appear, you appeared out of nowhere. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, my internet is going look very bad, so I tried to enter to the class. And I feel a moment later. All right, all right. No, it's not your internet. It's me. I'm I'm consuming your you guys' internet. All right. I'm kidding, guys. All right, continue. You're doing good. Okay. Okay. Old. Um, twenty years old. Yes. Um. Uh, I like I like a uh, very rubbish uh, for eat eating and um, fish on actions. While so my mother the spirit was my was raining. No, sorry, was oh, cooking. Cook, cook me. Was cooking dinner last night. The phone. Uh, I uh, about two days. Two days. Yes. That's well with my family. Okay. And you? Um. And my in my life in my last vacation, I went. I went to the beach too and my my father-in-law have a beach house and in cangrejera okay yeah and, and i i went with my family to okay. the to the beach house it's correct, teacher, beach house. Beach, uh, yeah, no beach house. Beach house sounds, it's a different thing, right? It's beach house. Be beach, beach house. Beach house. Beach house. No, yeah. beach. Not beach. <laughs> okay. You know what you're saying, okay. right? Very good. All right, continue, yeah, guys. Okay. Good job. Okay. And okay. um, how much uh, today did you stay? Uh, and beach, beach, what? Beach, beach, house. beach, beach house. house, beach house. Um, I ha I went to, I went to beach house uh, uh, for two days. Two. Two. Right. Okay, I'm two. For two days, uh, my daughter, my daughter is, uh, is. Is in love? Is in love or still struggling? <laughs> <That did. laughs> what? 
<laughs> Are you giving up? Uh, uh, sometimes no, question is, is, is not okay. <laughs> Several years ago, blah, 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 problems with math, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Several years ago, I was having problem with math. Let me see. So, so I. Yes, found. he was having and found. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, number three uh, is okay. Number four is bad. <laughs> Why I that that should be really easy guys because you're using while. When yeah. do we use while? It was driving. Very good. Uh huh. It was driving, and the next In I, number four is was driving and realized. Yes. And number uh, number six. five is okay. Well, my mother was cooking the phone wrong three times, I think. Wrong. Rang, yes. not wrong. Rang. Rang. <laughs> Rang. Rang, yes, rang three times. Okay. That's correct. Seven is and number <laughs> seven. Tracy and Eric. Teacher, but in this question is I don't know because the bird is was met and were cooking. Mm. Right, which question? I'm sorry. We're because cooking. the bird here is word teacher. We're cooking. Really. Trace and Eric. Try now. Okay. Yeah the, the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the verb the verb there is incorrect. It should it should be it should be uh cooking. sorry. All right, very sorry. Good. I don't know why I don't I I my volume my volume is off. Oh, I no, don't hear you. Your 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 volume is you know your volume is fine. All okay. right, very good, girls. So we're gonna go back. Good job, girls. Thank you. Good 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 job. Thank you, teacher. All right. How do I go back? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's go back now. All right, people. Very well done. All right, guys. So uh, good job. Let's go through the answers and see why, guys. Okay, answer for um, answer for it. Number one, guys, what is the answer for number one? Okay, my brother, my brother, my brother was, was a snowboarding. Snowboarding. Was snowboarding. Was snowboarding. My brother, snowboarding. snowboarding. Very good. My brother was snowboarding when he, when he broke, 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 broke. 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 In several places. Very good. Repeat, guys. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several pieces. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several pieces. Say several pieces, guys. Okay. Several pieces. Several pieces. Not places. Just places that you should say pieces. Okay. Very good. Easy hey guys, easy. do me a favor. Uh, whoever knows Mauricio, ask him to, because I don't know what, what his phone number is. From all the people here, I have no idea who you are, guys. <laughs> I mean, because I see your phone numbers. Um, so send, just send a message if you can, guys, to join back, because he left, because I think he, he thought he couldn't join. Anyways, uh, let's continue, guys. Number two, what is the answer for number two? What is the answer for number two, guys? Several years, several years ago, uh, I was having. I was having problems with math, so, so I found a tutor to help me. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, the couple. The couple. What? 
couple, the couple, the couple had were living. Had now, notice something, guys. Okay, I don't know if you if you've ever heard about stative verbs, guys. Stative verbs. Okay. So this is like love, like, have. Okay. So th these are stated verbs, right? Because they don't re represent an action. They represent okay. emotions, right? So having, guys, having is actually uh, not considered one of them, okay? Now, but notice something, guys, okay? In the first example, I was having problems with math, okay? Even though it's not an action, guys, like, how can you represent have, right? You cannot represent have. But with math, guys, okay, we're actually talking about the idea, okay? We are the idea of having problems. Because having problems is not like, okay, I have I have a problem, right? I have, I can touch a problem. No, guys, you cannot touch a problem, right? So you can use the ing form of the, the, the verb have. Have plus ing. Now, the second example, uh -huh. guys, we actually have, it says the couple, the couple was having. I think. Have. Right? Have. A couple had because guys, uh, how how are you gonna be having a child, right? The action of having a ch child, guys, is like, how long are you gonna have? Are you having the child for? Okay, it doesn't make sense. Okay, when you speak, it's like, all right, that it sounds like really mm -hmm. hurtful. I mean, like that that hurts a lot, guys. So, uh, if you were like having a child like constantly, right? So this right here, guys, is the, the couple, couple had. had. The couple had very good. Uh, uh, right, their first living. child when they were living, were living. in a living. tiny. Should, this should be guys. This shouldn't be a tiny. It should be a tiny. Okay. Tiny. Uh -huh. A tiny apartment. Okay. Very mm. good. All right. Can I say when they lived in a tiny apartment? Could I say this when when when? Little when, little little little. Okay. <laughs> when they were living, right? Very good. While I. Now, this one is really easy, guys, because we're using while, okay? While I, what? Was driving. Was driving. driving. All right, when I was driving in Ireland, Ireland a few driving. years ago, I realized. 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 Repeat, guys. Realized. 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 Uh, let's see. Number five, uh, Jorge Lopez. This is uh, a... This is a Oh, Ulrich. His name is All right. Ulrich. All right. All right. All right. Was reading a good book. Okay. All right. Was but, reading a good book. Uh huh. But, but as someone told her the ending. Okay. Someone told her the ending. Okay. How do we call that, guys? Bad person. A bad person. How do we call the action of telling someone? <laughs> <laughs> the ending spoiler. of, of, um, of spoiler. a book, book spoiler, guys. Yeah. So that's a spoiler, okay? All right. So he gave that person a spoiler. Very good. Number six. What about number six? Why my why mother my mother was cooking? Was cooking. Very good. When my mother was cooking. The phone. The last phone. night. The phone. Round. 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 Three times. Three times. Three times. All right. Round. Notice, notice something, guys. The mother, okay, was doing a continuous action, and then the action got interrupted because the phone was not ringing, guys. All right. It says here that it rang three times. It's giving you a specific amount of times that it rang. Okay. If it gives you notice that. That if it gives you guys a specific amount of times uh, the action happened, you're gonna use simple past, right? Because um, it's not a continuous action; it, it ended at some point. Okay, all right. You're specifying that the action ended at some point. All right, Tracy. All right, uh, Lucia, number seven. Are you wearing socks? <laughs> Are you wearing socks on your on, as gloves? Yes, I go. Oh, you're wearing clothes, gloves. Oh, oh my God, yeah. It's it's snowing in, in Mexicanos. In Mexicanos, there is a lot of snow. You know, it's like crazy cold here. <laughs> Very good, right? Let's go. Tracy and Eric. Tracy and Eric meet when they were uh, working. Is that at the same restaurant in Vancouver? Very good, Matt, guys. Matt. Matt. This could okay. When there, it says it should be guys cook. Okay. When they were cooking, <laughs> all right, at the same at restaurant. The same in restaurant okay. <laughs> all right, so a plus for you guys, okay? 
Very good, right? Focal for the look. Right? Very good. All right, good job, guys. Good, good, good job. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so um, please watch the vocabulary section, guys, because we're going to go through that uh, real quick. But I want to jump into the grammar exercises already, okay? All right, guys, so now, guys, we're going to learn about some adverbs, guys, to talk about, uh, to do storytelling, okay? Guys, what is storytelling, okay? Uh, Tatiana, what is, what is, story, what is storytelling? Five, four, three, two, one, Tatiana, let's go. I don't know. All right, uh, Ma Marco Barahona, what is storytelling? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> All right, very good, okay. Uh, <laughs> talking about uh, history, about our life, maybe. <laughs> okay, guys, a story storytelling is telling a story, okay? <laughs> It's in the word, story guys. Telling. Storytelling, <laughs> telling a story, okay? It's so that story is storytelling, right? Telling. All right, Tatiana, is it is it understood now what, what storytelling is? Telling. Sure, it's, it's... All right, it's telling a story, right? Okay, like Chan Roberto, right? He tells a lot of stories. <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking a story. Okay, yes. All right, telling a story, talking telling a story. story. <laughs> when All right, guys. Teacher talking Dua Lipa. <laughs> and I'm talking about Dua Lipa, right? <laughs> All right, uh, so what is, a, what is an adverb, guys? Okay, write it down in your notes, okay? What is an adverb? Modify a noun. Okay, no, that would be an adjective, okay? Don't confuse yes. me, guys, okay? An adjective, an adjective describes oh, yes, sure. a noun, right? Or a pronoun yeah. describes the subject, okay? Okay, an adverb modifies or describes the what, guys? What do you think? Adverb. What do you think it mo it, it describes? It the adverb. Verb. The verb, guys. Okay. Verb. It modifies. It describes the verb. Okay. Mm. Well done. All right. So, for example, guys. Uh, 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 so, for example, uh, if I say, if I say, if I say, if I say. He, Cheyenne, walks. Okay, check out this sentence, guys, okay? What, what is Cheyenne in this sentence, guys? The subject. subject. Very subject. good. He is the subject, okay? Very good. The subject, which is at the same case, in the, the, at the same time, a noun, oh. right? Very good. All right. And what is walks, guys? The verb. The verb. The verb, the verb. The verb okay? Very good. Now, I want to modify that verb, okay? Basically, guys, all right? That verb, I want to, I want to, I want to find uh, like this. I want to fine tune it. Repeat, guys. Fine tune it. Fine tune it. Fine tune it. All right. Fine tune it. All right. That means ajustar algo precisamente. Como por ejemplo, no sé, a, a, I don't know, uh, cuando, cuando, ajustas, cuando ajustas las llantas del carro, ¿ok? You fine tune your, your, your wheels, ¿got it? Las pones que queden perfectas, ¿got it? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, if you want to fine tune the verb, guys, ¿ok? Ahora right, si le quiero poner ajustar esas llantitas al verbo, ¿ok? Right? Tunear right. el verbo. Eh, tunear el verbo, ¿ok? Very good, ¿right? Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somos pocos, pero calle, right? Very good. Right. <laughs> pocos, right. pero, pocos, pero locos. Pocos, pero locos. Very good. All right, guys. So, subject plus verb plus an adverb, okay? You will need an adverb, okay? So, the adverb, guys, okay, it fine-tunes the verb. Got it? All right? Lo tunea, right? All right? Very good. All right. Very good, guys. So, all right. So, what what can I say? Cheyenne walks slowly. Okay. Cheyenne walks, uh, walks quick. Okay. Cheyenne walks fast. Quickly. Cheyenne, yeah. Cheyenne walks walks quickly. Cheyenne walks fast. Cheyenne walks. What else, kids? Patojo. All right. <laughs> um. Cheyenne walks. Like an angel. 
walks like an angel. Okay. <laughs> well, well, style. well, actually, guys, if you say walks like an angel, this would be, you know, this would be a phrase considered an adverb. Okay. But let's just let's just focus focus on the adverb words. Okay. So you can say Cheyenne walks strangely, right? El camina extra extrañamente, right? You know who walks strangely, guys? Okay, yes. Putin, right? Putin walks strangely. Yes? Have you have you ever seen Putin how he walks? No. He walks he walks very confidently, like confidently, right? He walks confidently, right? When when Vlad when when uh, Vladimir Putin walks, he walks confidently, right? Right. So that's why girls like him because he works, you know, like he's the boss, right? Okay. Very good, guys. All right. So is it clear, guys, what an adverb is? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Tequila clear or or cola champagne clear? Or cola champagne con piquete clear? Tequila clear. Tequila clear. Tequila clear. Tequila reforzado. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, very good. All right, so let's identify, guys, the adverbs that we have here. Remember, guys, the adverbs are not adjectives, okay? Repeat, guys. Coincidentally. Repeat coincidentally. 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 All right, guys. Coincidentally. What? Coincidentally. Coincid no, coincidentally. Just aprendiendo. I'm, yeah, I am learning for you guys. Oh, sí, nice. Coincidentally, repeat, coincidentally. 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 Okay, so coincidentally, guys, what do you think it means, guys? So, for example, guys, coincidentally means, guys, if if let's say that Jacqueline is wearing a red dress, all right? Oh, and, no. and, and, then, and then we have dress. And then we have and then we have and then we have Rocio wearing the same red dress, okay? All right? Dress. Wearing the same dress. Right. Like a thing. Hey, nice shoes. All right. It's like then, a friend's gold. Then they are going to fight, right? Because they're wearing the same. <laughs> no. So they, all right. So they. True. All right. They they are wearing the same dress coincidentally, right? Let's take the same later, party. Right. Um, they <laughs> are wearing the same dress. Coincidentally, right? Now notice something in this sentence, guys. Okay, I am. I'm talking about the object of the sentence here. Yeah, totally. But what but what verb am I modifying, guys? When I say coincidentally, guys, am I talking about the dress? Am I talking about they? Am I talking about are? Am I talking about wearing? What am I talking about when I say coincidentally? Wearing the same. Wearing. Wearing, guys, okay? Yeah. All right. So notice, guys, that even though we're using, you know, um, <clears throat> different parts of speech here, you are all, you, um, the adverb is always talking about the verb. An adverb also talks about, it can modify, guys, an adverb can also modify an adjective and it can also modify another adverb, okay? By the way. All right, guys, so, uh, so do we all, un do we all understand what coincidentally is, guys? Yes. yes. Very good. Is that positive or negative? What do you think? It's positive. Very good, okay, all right. Neutral, what about neutral? Yes. All right. Yeah, that's like neutral, not okay. Because you could be like, oh, you, 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 uh, you know, we are coincidentally evil people, right? So that wouldn't be okay. something, something positive. All right. Uh, so that is neutral. Okay. Fortunately, repeat, guys. Fortunately. 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 All right. What about fortunately, guys? Fortunately. Good or bad? Good. Right, it's good. Okay. What about luckily? Repeat, guys. Luckily. Luckily. All right. Uh, good or bad? Good. All right. It's positive, right? Miraculous. Okay. Repeat, guys. Miraculously. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, repeat, guys. Sadly. 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 Negative. 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 Very good. All right. Toxical, toxic. I left you. You feel sad. Right? <laughs> Very good. Repeat, guys. Strangely. 
Strangely. Neutral, guys. Neutral, yes. All right, repeat, guys. Suddenly. 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 Positive, negative, neutral. Neutral. Do you know what suddenly is, guys? No. All right, like. su suddenly is like, um, wow. Suddenly is something that happens without you expecting it to happen, okay? For example, you can say, um, I was walking down the street when suddenly I saw a black cat when suddenly I was ran over. All right. Here, let's see what now. Suddenly means, guys, uh, de repente. Mm -hmm. okay? Suddenly appear oh, okay. in the okay. All, right, All right. So what do you think? Neutral, positive, negative? Neutral. 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 Uh, it is neutral. neutral. Okay. Surprise. Repeat, guys. Surprisingly. 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 Okay. Surprisingly. 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 Positive, negative, neutral. Positive. Neutral. All right. This is... Very good, guys. Okay, so this is going to be neutral, all right? What about unexpectedly? Repeat, guys. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly right? Unexpectedly, guys. What do you think about that? Neutral. 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 All right. That is neutral. Very good. Repeat, guys. Unfortunately. 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 Negative. 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 Right? Negative. Negative. All right, guys. So, okay, all right. So far, so good with the vocabulary, guys? Yeah. Yes? A little bit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very good, okay. Bit. All right, guys, so we're going to... Um, so I'd like you to make a story, guys, but we're going to do it in another session. I, I do want to jump into the grammar side uh, today, guys. Okay. All right, guys, so this one, this one, uh, this one, knowledge check, guys, I want you to, uh, to finish it home. What, uh, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to talk about the present perfect continues, okay? Hi. All right, this is going to be a kind of a long topic, though. All right, guys, let's take a look at some examples. All right, help me. Let's see, guys. Lino Guardado, help me read the first example. Lino, five, four, three, two, one. Ricardo, let's go. Too slow, Lino. Let's go. Ricardo. <laughs> What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Repeat, guys. What have you been doing lately? What, what have, have you been, been, doing, been lately? doing lately? All right, very good. Lately. And, lately. and how do I lately. answer that? How do I answer that, guys? I've been, I've been, been working, working on your last six months. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Lino, how, how, do, you, how do I answer that, Lino? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. I repeat, guys, I've been working two jobs for the last six months. I've been, I've been, I've been working for the last, the last six, six months. months. All right, guys, where is the other over here, guys? Yeah, lately. Lately, lately. lately. All right. lately. Very good, all right. Lately. Take an example. Uh, Lucia Pacheco, five, four, three, two. How long have you been modeling? Very good. And the answer? I've been modeling mm -hmm. since I graduated. Very good, okay. All right, si no me respondía en cinco segundos, te iba a obligar que te quitara su guante si aguantara frío, right? <laughs> Con esta nieve, all right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Lea Campos, right? Number three, example number three. Have you been saving money? Have you been saving mm. money? Very good. All right, and the answer? No, I haven't been saving uh, any money. I've been up each. I was not right. I've been spending it. Repeat I've been it. spending it. I've been spending it. I've been, repeat, I've been spending it. I've been, been spending it. I have been All right. spending it. Uh, close, been spending. close enough. Okay, I've been spending it. Okay, good job, guys. All right, guys. So these examples, guys, these right here, guys, these are questions in present perfect continuous, and these are answers in present perfect continuous. Okay. What do we use present perfect continuous for? Uh Rocio Lopez, what do we use it for? Uh, use the present perfect continuous for the for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Like your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, right? It started <laughs> in the past and it continues in your mind in the present, right? Okay. 
Exactly like your ex toxic or toxic, okay? So you started you started the relationship here, right? You were all happy together, right? All right. So this is you and your ex toxic or toxic, right? This is the past, right? <laughs> and this is the present. Okay. Now, okay, you broke up, but you know, this continues in your mind, right? So there's your brain. Okay, this is a small brain, right? So very good, guys. Okay, so that's what we use the present. Um, I mean, the present perfect continuous for, right? All right, we're going to see more about that soon, guys, okay? Very good, guys. Okay, so uh, help me read uh, Elizabeth de Rivera. Okay, a present perfect continuous for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Very good, guys. Okay. Who understands this? Because I didn't understand. I was just kidding, guys. All right. So it emphasizes the activity, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, and the duration of the activity. Okay. I, what I want you to remember, guys, more than anything is this right here. Okay. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. Right. So keep that in mind. All right. For example, guys. Uh, help me read the first example, uh, Jocelyn, Sophia. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. Jack has been waiting for over an hour, okay. What is the activity here, guys? Waiting. 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 Very good. What is the what is the duration? An hour. Over an hour. An hour. Over Very good an job, hour. all right. Uh, Tatiana, no, uh, Victor Cubillas, number two. Come to read it and let's identify the activity and the duration. Okay. I have been studying since since three o'clock. Very uh, good. Studying, studying it's the activity. activity. Uh huh. And uh, since three o'clock. It is the duration. Very good. Okay. The duration. Eduardo Torres. Okay. Next one. Hey, how long have you been studying French? <laughs> Uh, activity. Bless you. Uh, being a study. Thank you. Is duration how long? Very good, right? Studying, okay, studying, okay, and uh, how long is the duration? Very good, all right. You notice, guys, that this is a question, right? Very good, man. All right, very good. You recognize the duration, okay? All right, guys, so I'll give you guys one minute to write down the structure in your notebook, guys, about present, uh, the structure of present perfect continuous, okay? Let's go. 60, 59, 58. <laughs> Let's go, guys. All right, guys. So, meanwhile, let's take a look at... Um, at this right the example here so first of all we need right we need the subject of the sentence okay so in this case in the first example guys what is the subject of the sentence we 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 very good we right then after that now guys is this a uh let me ask you something guys is this a is this an action verb guys is this a steady verb or is this an auxiliary guys is this an auxiliary verb an auxiliary. Uh, it is an auxiliary verb, guys. Okay, so guys, the reason why I'm, I'm saying that, okay, is because we are with these pronouns, guys, with these personal pronouns, we are always going to use have. What are we gonna use all, uh, all the time, guys? Have. Have. We're always have. gonna use have, have. Okay. All right. It doesn't mean tener, guys. Okay. So if you say I have a car, is that present perfect, guys? Is that person perfect continuous? I have a car? No. no. All right. Because in that case, very good. Because in that case, it's that's not that's not a, a, an auxiliary verb. All right. Then one thing that we always have to have is also been. What is it? Ben. 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 Okay, very good. Ben. All right. Always, guys, always. Okay. And then we need a verb. We need a gerund, right? We need a verb in ing. All right. Very good. Okay, so where do you see the auxiliary here and the verb being? Uh, Anna? 
in, in, in what? Where, where in the sentence, yeah, where, where in the, yeah, okay, where in the sentence do we see the auxiliary? How? Very good, okay, so it's here, okay, and then we have the verb in. Where do you, the, where do we see the verb in ing form? Uh, Ricardo Ramirez? Working. Very good, okay, it's working, right? And what the hell is together since last year? Lucia? I, I forgot the, the word. <laughs> All right, well, this is a compliment, compliment. but notice, guys, that, that yeah. compliment. Compliment. But compliment, Com we're, we're using a duration, okay? All right, we're also giving a duration, right? Since, okay, what is the duration here? Um, Elizabeth de Rivera? Since last year. Since last year. Very good, okay, since last year is the duration here, okay? Very good, all right? You guys are pretty smart. Esther, okay, let's take a look at the second example. I'm sorry, do you, uh, I heard a teacher. Yes, I have a question. Tell me. Um, in the last example, uh, why can say I have a car? Oh, because that's not, I have a car, subject plus verb, the verb in base form, plus uh, the object of complement, right? Whatever. All right. So, what tense is this? What simple person? What tense is this, guys? Simple person. It is simple present, guys. The structure mm -hmm. is a simple present. Okay. If you say, I have a car, you can say, I eat ice cream. I love singing. All right. So, you're not using the verb as an auxiliary. In this case, the verb is always an auxiliary. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's Thanks. the reason why. All right, uh, because guys, you're using you're using have as an auxiliary plus being, which is the past participle. Okay, past participle. So when you have a past participle, guys, after have it is have is act have is an auxiliary. Okay, it is not an action verb. It is not a steady verb. In that case, it is an auxiliary verb. Okay, very good. Uh, did that answer your question? Yes, no, maybe, kind of. All right, uh, Michael, let's go. All right, so, uh, he, all right, let's 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 read that and uh, let's identify each of the parts, uh, each of the components in the, in the structure. He has been painting his house for two hours. He's been painting his house for two hours, okay. All right, guys. So, where's the where's the subject of the sentence here? Uh, uh, Italo, where's the subject of the sentence? He. He. Very good. Okay. What is has in this case, and why are we using has and not have, Eduardo? Activity. Huh? Has. Okay. Very good. Has is the auxiliary. Okay. But why why are we using Victor Cubias? Why are we using has and not have here? So we are speaking about a third person. Because we're speaking about a third person. Very good, okay? Then we have the past participle bin. And what is uh what is this part right here, guys? Well the, the whole thing. Activity. This is the okay, the activity, yeah. but it's also called the this is the ing verb, and then yeah. this right here, we got the complement, and within the complement we have what? The time. Generation. Very good, right? Generation. So do my favor, guys. Generation. Everybody, before we go, let's give me at least one example in the chat room, guys, using uh, present perfect continuous, okay? By the way, guys, if, you're, if you are going to talk about a negative sentence, the only thing that you add, guys, is not after have. I have not been doing my homework, all right? So these right here, okay? So after have or has, guys, you will have to add not, okay? All right, guys, um, don't worry. We're going to continue with more examples about this tomorrow. But right now, guys, I want to see your understanding of the topic. So let's go ahead and send me examples, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Esther. All right, uh, Jacqueline uh, says I have been working in sales for the last year. Very good. Uh, Anna, he has been sleeping all day. Very good, Anna. He has been walking yesterday. Okay, now yesterday is not a duration. Yesterday is a time reference, okay? Uh, Rosie, okay. you need to specify the duration, okay? Okay. Uh, also, guys, remember uppercase, right? Use periods and everything because then you get bad scores in the, uh, you know, you, you, you get you get errors from the platform. So just get used to using capital, capital capitalization and, um, you know, punctuation. Uh, Lino, let's see. Uh, well, actually, Luis Molina first. He has not been driving his car in this momento, in this moment. Lino, they have been walking in the park for three hours. Very good, Lino. Esther, have you been running all morning? Very good. Marco, uh, you have been playing soccer for two hours. Very good. For two hours. <laughs> for two hours, okay. Uh, Leah, I have been saving for my next vacation. Not vacations, vacation, all right? In Maybe. Spanish, we say vacaciones, but in English, it's vacation, right? Vacation. Uh, we have been in this class for 59 minutes. Very good. He has been walking in the park, in the park, three days a week. Okay. Uh, I have been driving the, I have been driving the office to the office. Okay. We're missing, we're missing two there, right? Jorge, I've been driving to the office for three hours. Um, Jocelyn, Maria has been studying all day. Very good. Leah, Okay. Elizabeth, we have been working in another. Complicated. We have been working in another site next year. Hold on, listen to this, Elizabeth. Hemos estado trabajando en un otro sitio el otro el año que viene. All right, so you have done something in the future. Right now, you have to talk in the past, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Eduardo, I have been studying verbs in English the last week. For the last week, okay, we're missing the preposition for there. All right, I, you got the idea, guys. Uh, you're making other type of mistakes, but you got the idea. I have been working since 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Very good, very good, Ricardo. Now, notice Ricardo's example, guys. He's say, he's he's actually giving me a specific time, but he's giving me a duration. All right, so uh, so even though he's using specific you know, specific time, he's giving me that, that specific time is talking about a duration of time, All right? Very good, guys. All right. Good, good, good job. Any questions, guys, so far? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. So good. Clear, <laughs> clear, clear as Petrov? So far. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Very good, guys. All right. Let's finish, guys. Let's finish, guys. Um, section two. We're going to continue with more examples about this tomorrow, guys. But let's finish right. Let's try to finish section two. Uh, remember, section one needs to to be completed already. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's it, okay. guys. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Get something. You know, go eat something. Hey, thank you, teacher. Also. Have a thank night, night. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys.